Welcome to the Mystic Access Podcast, where the magic is in learning. Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's episode of the Mystic Access Podcast. My name is Kim. I will be your host for today. Today, I am flying solo without Chris, and I want to tell you about a really wonderful app. And if you are a bird watcher, bird listener, bird enthusiast of any kind, if Audubon is a big deal for you, if you just like listening to the birds singing around your house or workplace, if birds interest you and you've always wanted to learn more about them, if you really enjoy spending time in nature, this is a podcast that you will probably find very enjoyable. I want to tell you about a fully accessible app called Bird Tunes. It is not available for Android. Currently, this is for iOS users only. This app comes in three different flavors, so there are three apps in the family of BirdTunes apps, and they are all completely accessible with voiceover. Now, before I start sharing the app with you, I want to tell you a little story. Once upon a time when I was a kid and a long-standing member of the National Library Service, even at that time, my mom ordered for me, and I must have been eight, <laughs> maybe nine, a copy of a birdsong tutor that was available through NLS. This was recorded and put together by a gentleman named Lang Elliott. At the time, he was working for the Cornell Labs and received a grant from the National Library Service, and this was a result of that grant. It was on two cassettes at that time. It's about three hours in length, I believe. I would have to go back and actually check the exact length. But it was a really wonderful guide to particularly a lot of Eastern American bird species. And he described what they looked like. Of course, you got to hear the pristine sound recordings of those birds making various calls and singing various songs. And it was a really wonderful experience for me as a young girl. My dad is a very big nature enthusiast and taught me a great deal about what I know about birdsong. And the rest of what I learned about birdsong as a little girl, I learned from Lang and this particular tutorial. So he's always had a very special place in my heart due to this work and my discovering it at such a young age and really growing up with knowing more as a result of this foundational knowledge that I got from utilizing this tutorial from NLS. Well, let's fast forward several years and I learn about the BirdTunes app. Who do you suppose created the BirdTunes app? A gentleman named Harold Mills and Lang Elliott. Here I am, you know, almost three decades later, and we have circled back around, and I again get to enjoy Lang's work in a very mobile, very portable, very convenient way. He also has a lot of really wonderful other things going on. He's done photography. He's doing video now. He's recorded many pristine nature sound recordings. You can learn more about Lang at langelliot.com, and I will put his website as well as the Bird Tunes app website and some more goodies for you in the show notes. So if this interests you, please feel free to check those out. One more note, the audio birdsong tutor that I mentioned getting on cassette back in the day when I was a girl is now available on Bard. The Bard direct link to the title will be available in the show notes. So if you would like to check the nice digital daisy version of this, which of course I now own, <laughs> thank you Bard, you can do so and I will post the direct link in the show notes. So now that you've heard my little fun story about how this all came about in my life, <laughs> let me share this app with you. And first, before we even go into it, let me share a little bit more about the app itself. There are three flavors or three versions of the app, as I mentioned previously. In the family of BirdTunes apps, we begin with BirdTunes Lite. This is free in the App Store and contains songs and calls for 24 species of birds. So it's a really nice starter for you. If you're not quite sure this is your thing or you're not quite sure it's something that you want to delve into, you can get the free version and just check it out. Have a little taster and find out what's in there. The apps, all three of the apps are laid out completely the same. That's just something to note as you decide which one you would like to download to start with. The next version after BirdTunes Lite is BirdTunes Basic. This app is $1.99 in the App Store and contains songs and calls for 135 bird species. Not too shabby for $1.99, I must say. Again, laid out exactly like BirdTunes Lite and primarily contains birds from the eastern part of the U.S. Finally, we have BirdTunes. This is the big brother or big sister app of the three and is $9.99 in the App Store and includes songs and calls for over 600 birds 
across North America. In fact, there are 674 birds in all in this version of the app. It's one of the best $9.99 purchases I've made, I can assure you of that. <laughs> if this is something that interests you, this is a treasure of information. Apparently, the app includes really beautiful photography. There's a photo of each bird when you move into the bird's information. And in the Birdtoons Big Brother app, we'll say, the $9.99 version, there is over 10 hours of audio between all the various songs and calls. So let me give you a tour of the app. I'm going to open my iPad mini. Oh, speaking of iPad minis and iPads, there is not a version specifically for the iPad at this time. So there's only one version on the App Store currently. One version of each of the three apps, that is. So you'll find it under the iPhone tab when you're searching for the apps. Just something to note. Let's open up the iPad. Open camera. Unlock button. Unlock. FaceTime. App switcher, home, map, radio to chip rack, settings, r bird tunes. Swipe up with three fingers to close All the right. app. Swipe up or down to select a custom action. And here's then bird tap tunes. To activate. I'm going to double tap to open it. Bird tunes. Bird tunes. Browse. When you first open the app, I'm just going to swipe through and show you what's here. We have browse. Selected. First name. Button. One of three. There's first name. Last name. Button. Two of three. Last name. Group. Button. Three of three. And group. There are three different ways you can sort the various species of birds within the app. If you want to browse in first name alphabetical order, you'll choose first name. If you want to choose in last name alphabetical order, you'll choose last name. And if you want to browse by taxonomic group, you will choose group. I'll show you how this works, actually. Let me just keep moving forward into the app by swiping right. 26 species by first name. I have a search in here currently, so I need to clear this search. I'm going to show you a search in a couple minutes, but let me clear this. Cat, search, clear text, button. Search field is editing, character mode, enter any part as a bird name. All right. So I have cleared my search. I'm going to show you a search momentarily, but let me show you what the actual grouping of birds looks like currently as you continue to move through. Table index adjustable. We're at swipe a table up or down index. With one finger to adjust the value. So if I swipe up or down with one finger, I can adjust by letter where I want to go. For instance, if I know I want to look for something that starts with the letter P, I can move down here to P and can easily find that. So I'm just going to swipe to the right. Capital A heading. And now we know it says capital A, so we are in the A's. Abers Tohi, Pippi Loiberti. Acadian flycatcher, Empidonax virescens. Acorn woodpecker, Melnerpes formicivorus. Alder flycatcher, Empidonax alnorum. Okay, so you can see how it's sorting currently. I'm actually going to move back up to the sorting options. Illusion turn, all acorn. Cap table in, enter, sick group, last selected, browse. I'm back to browse, and I'm going selected, to last name, button, two change of three. my sort order to last name. Selected, last name, two of three. It says selected, last name, two of three. I'm going to move back over here to the, closer to the right edge of the screen. And Hinga, and Hinga, and Hinga. Annie, groove build, Bertifagus alcyrostris. Annie, smooth build, Bertifaga Annie. Auklet, Cassins, Tiker Ampicil Yurk, Auklet, Crested, Aethia Christatella, Auklet, Least, Aethia Pocilla, Auklet, Parakeet, Aethia Cidercula, Auklet, Rhinoceros, Soror Hinka Monoterada. So it's completely changed my sort order, so we're seeing different things than what we saw previously. Let's say I want to move to group. I'm going to move back to my sort options. Enter any part as 607th group, button 3 of 3. Here we are at group. I'm going to double tap group to make that my sorting selection. Selected group three of three. And now let's move over and see what we have. Greaves, albatrosses, petrel, storm petrels, pelicans, cormorants, and allies. Waiting birds, swans, geese, and ducks. So if you know you want to look for various swans, geese, and ducks, for instance, you can search by group. Diurnal raptors, upland game birds. Upland game birds. Rails, cranes, and allies. Rails, crane. Shorebirds, Jaegers and squaws. So if you know you're going to be at the ocean. You might want to look for shorebirds. Or you're going to be at the lake or at a marsh. You've got various options for ways that you can look these up. Gulls, terns, and skimmers. Gulls, terns, and skimmers. Puffins and allies. Pigeons and doves. Parrots and allies. Cuckoos and allies. Owls. Night jars and swifts. So if you just want to look for owls, for instance, you can tap here. Owls. Or with browse. Back button. We can double tap on owls. Owls. Selected. First name. Button. Last name. Button. We've got our two. sorting options still. 18 species. By first name. So we have 18 species of owls. Table index adjustable. Again, your table Swipe index. Up or down with one finger to adjust the value. So you can sort alphabetically or move alphabetically. Capital B heading. Barn owl, Tito alba. Barred owl, Strix varia. Boreal owl, Iaglius funerius. Burrowing owl, Athena cunicularia. Capital E heading. Eastern screech owl, Megascopsisio. So here you go. We can see all these various owl species. Let me just click on one. I'm going to click on the eastern screech owl. Elf owl, Mike. Oops. Capital F. Owl. Eastern screech owl, Megascop. Here we go. Three owls. Back button. 
Eastern Screech Owl. So it says Eastern Screech Owl if you move past your back button. East Scout 4444 button. Now you heard it say East something 4444. I'm going to show you that in a second. Let me keep moving forward here. Five tracks. Five tracks. There are five tracks of audio available for you to listen to with hoots and songs, if you will, of the Eastern Screech Owl. So let me keep moving forward. Stopped. Okay, it says the audio is stopped when I swipe right. One. We need a drill and why. So it tells you the name of the track and where it was recorded. So this one is recorded in New York. It says NY. Two. Winnie and why. Three. Monotonic drill SC. Monotonic drill. South Carolina. Four. Winnie's and drills with parks TX. Five. Squeals and bill snaps interaction WV. Squeals and bill snaps interaction in West Virginia. Play button. If I keep moving, it says play. There are different ways that you can play your audio within the app. If I press play right here, though, it's just going to play the first track. So let's press play. Pause. Double tap. And there is the screech owl. It's really beautiful recordings. You can hear some crickets and things in the background play, as button. well. Okay, it's stopped, so it's taking me back to play again. I can play. Let's say I want to hear a different track. There are a few ways to do this. I'm actually going to swipe back to the left for a moment. Five. Squeals and bill snaps. Four. Winnies and drills with parks. TX. Let's listen to this one from Texas. I'm going to double tap it. Four. Winnies and drills with parks. TX. So these are more Winnies of this screech owl. So it's a nice chunk of audio. It gives you quite a bit of time to listen to the sound. I want to show you something really cool that you can do though. There are various playback modes within the app. So I'm going to move forward again by swiping right. Five. Squeal play button. There's your play button. We just saw that. Play one button. We have play one. Volume. 50% adjustable. And then we have volume. Swipe up or down with one finger to adjust the value. And mine's currently at 50%. Play one button. But I want to go back to play one. If I double tap this, it's going to toggle me between four different play modes. We have play one. Repeat one. We have repeat one. If you say play that first track that we played and you want to hear it again, you can put your play mode on repeat one and it will play that track over and over and over and over and over indefinitely until you choose to stop it. You can play one track of audio repeatedly for as long as you like. Let me double tap this again. Play all. Play all. If we wanted to play all five tracks of this Screech Owl audio, we could do so and it would play them all once. So each of the five tracks would be played back to back to back one time. Then the play would stop. If I press this button again by double tapping, Repeat all. We can repeat all. So it'll play track one, two, three, four, and five, and then we'll start over and play them over again. I'm going to move to repeat one. Play one. Repeat one. And let's listen to another track. Play five, four, three, mod two, Winnie and Y. Let's listen to this one. This is the second track. Two, Winnie and Y. We have a lot of Eastern Screech Owls around here. So I hear this sound pretty often. It's kind of a lonesome sound. And as you can see now, you may have heard that slight fade out. Now it's playing the track again. Three, four, five. Squeal, pause button. So I can pause. Play. My play button became a pause button, so I can pause if I wish. And then I can play button. continue playing. Pause. Play. Pause again. Repeat one button. I have it set to repeat one right now. If I want to change this back to my normal way of playing these tracks, I can just double tap. Play all. The play, what was the play and repeat one button. Now I'm at play all. Repeat all. Repeat all. Play one. Play one. So it cycles me between these various methods of playing the tracks. So now I'm back at play one. Let's move out of the owl. Owls, back button. Barred owl, strings vary and I tapped more or less up at the top left corner of the screen. It's a little lower than the left corner. You just kind of have to get used to where it is and find it to tap up there, but it's pretty easy to locate the back button. Bar and owl, title album, capital B, table in 18 speed, last name, but selected, owls, browse, back button. So I'm gonna go backwards with my browse button. Greaves. We're back in groups currently. I'm gonna actually move. Greaves. 
Loons. Answer any 670 selected group. But last name button. First name button. I'm going to move back three. to first name sort because that's generally how I sort. Selected. First name. One of three. So we're back at first name sort. Let me take you into another track. Last name. But group. But 674 species by first name. <laughs> and it says 674 species by first name. Answer any part as of bird name. Search field. Now there's Double a search field right there as you can see. 674 species by first name. Right after it says 674 species by first name. Group button. So once you move past the sorting options. 674 species by first name. Depending on where you are and how you're sorting and whether or not you're searching, it might give you a different number there. If you're in a group, for instance, in the owls, I think it gave us 18 owl species that we could choose from. So we can do a search, and we're actually going to do that in a moment. But first, I want to show you another bird. I'm just going to tap near the right-hand side of the screen. See where we land. Table index adjustable. Okay, we're at the table. Illusion index. turn on each Allen's hummingbird, Altamira aureole, itch American avocet, American bittern, both American black duck, and this American coot, few American crow, cor American dipper, sick American flamingo, fr American golden flubber, American goldfinch, card whaley's tristis. Here's the American goldfinch. Let's go in there. Double tap. Four browse back button. American goldfinch. Am eagle 4444 button. And you see that button again. I am going to show you that, and I'm going to show you in just a second how that button works. We saw something similar with the owl. So I'm going to keep swiping to the right. 14 tracks. There are 14 tracks of audio we can listen to of the American Goldfinch. Stopped. It's stopped. One. Song number one, UT. Song number one from Utah. Let's listen to that. I'm going to double tap it. One. Song number one, UT. I could have also pressed the play button to play this. So this is a song of the American Goldfinch. And you can see some of these audios are really extensive. I'm going to move to another track of the finch. Let me move forward here. Browse, back up, American Goldfinch, two. Song number two and three. Song number three, four. Brief songs, Summer Territory, number one and why. Let's listen to Brief Songs, the Summer Territory. I'm going to double tap here. Four. Brief songs, Summer Territory, number one and why. <laughs> three. So, four. Three, two, one, zero, eight. Now, if you see me, I'm moving, I'm swiping backwards to the left, and you see zero, eight. Zero, twelve. Zero, two. Two. Song number two, three. So it does. Song number three, UT. It does tell you how long it is and how much time you have. Sometimes you have to check it really quickly if you want to know. I think that one was eight seconds because when I was checking it, there were two seconds left. So when you swipe one way, you'll see the full amount of time and then the time remaining if you swipe in the other direction. You are able to view how much time is left in the song, if you're quick enough. <laughs> now, I'm going to go back to that mystery button that I've shown you twice now. Two. One. Stopped. Fourteen tracks. Amigo 4444. Button. There it is. I'm going to tap this button. Track list dimmed. Track list button. It says track list dimmed and then track list button. I'm going to swipe to the right. Fourteen tracks. Add to favorites button. Ha! Ah, add to favorites. If you want to add any bird species to your favorites list, and I'll show you the favorites list in a moment. You can do so by double tapping this button. Let's do it. Remove from favorites. And it says remove from favorites. So if you change your mind and say, oops, I didn't mean to do that, you can remove it from your favorites. This is called the photo view. The other view that we were just in, where we get to see the 14 tracks of American Goldfinch song, was the tracks view. This is the photo view. What you're actually doing when you're tapping on that particular button, apparently, if you were sighted and moving through this app, you would be tapping on a little bird and the little bird would take you into photo view, and then you could add to your favorites. We aren't seeing the little bird, but we're essentially doing the same thing. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to move back into tracks view. 14 track, track list, button. By click, Amigo clicking 44, 44, dimmed. Amigo 44, the track 44, list button. button. And now it has transformed back into this other button, which we could go back to favorites through there. Now there's a way to get to the favorites list, and I'm actually gonna show you that. Browse, back button. I wanna click on the browse back button. Alder flycatcher, Empidonax alnorum. Now it has moved me back into the A's, or earlier in the A's from here. That's one little thing about the app that isn't really something I enjoy. Sometimes you have to do a little bit of swiping. Acorn woodpecker, Melanurpes formicivarus. I'm not quite back at the beginning of the A's. There are a few A's prior to this, but usually it does bring me somewhere back into this general region. If I'm in the A's, for instance, sorting 
uh, in the sort index and I'm in A, it'll move me back over here to somewhere within this general vicinity. So sometimes you do have to do a little flicking and swiping to get back to where you want to go. Admittedly, that could be a voiceover quirk. It could have nothing to do with the app itself and everything to do with voiceover and focus and who knows. It's just something to note when you're going into the app and beginning to utilize it. That can happen. You can end up somewhere far away from where you were when you left and went to the browse back button. Let me show you what's down at the bottom of this. I'm going to tap near the bottom center of the screen. Recents, recents, tab, two of three. We have three tabs. Recents. Selected. Browse. Tab. One of three. If I swipe to the left, we have browse. I'm going to swipe back to the right. Recents. Tab. There's two recents of three. again. Favorites. Tab. Three of three. And there's your favorites tab. Let's go in here. Selected. Favorites. Tab. Three of three. American Goldfinch. Card Whaley's Tristis. There's the American swipe Goldfinch that I just added. Species by first name. Last name. One species by first name. And currently that's all that's in my favorites list. American Goldfinch. Browse. Tab. One of three. So then I can move back straight to my tabs from within this group of favorites. Recents, tab, two, selected, favorites, tab, three of three. Let's go into recents, I'll show you that. Recents, tab, two of American Goldfinch, 18 species, recents, clear, button. I can clear my recents, recents if I wish. 18 species, American, Eastern Screech Owl, American Black Duck, Lark Sparrow, Indigo Bunting, Passerina Cyanio. There's the Indigo Bunting. Let's go in here. I have a lot of buntings around my house. Three, recents, back button, two. Zone one stopped. Five tracks. We have five tracks of audio that we can listen to. Let's just listen to one of them. Stopped one. Song number one, I eight. Here's song number one from Iowa. Double one. tapping it. Song number one, I eight. So there's song number one of the Indigo Bunting. We're going to move back to browse. One. Oops. Song number one. I, <laughs> I tapped it again. Didn't mean to. One. One. Recents. Back button. Indigo bunting. Passer on Cyanio. There we go. I'm back in my recents. Let's go back to the bottom of the screen. Selected. Recents. Browse. And tab. we're going to go back one to the browse tab. Selected. Browse. Tab. One of three. I want to show you how to do a search. So we're going to go back near the top American left Bitterm, corner Beaufort, of the screen. American app characters. Language. Oops. Altamira Aureole. Alan's Hump. Illusion. Alderfly. Acorn. Wood. Okay, Abers Toe, capital A, heading. Here's the A's. It says capital A. Table index, adjustable. We do have the table swipe up index. Or down, one finger to adjust so the if value. I want to go to C, for instance, I can swipe down. B, selected. C, selected. Now C, selected. So if I swipe to the right. Capital C, heading. I'm a capital C. Cackling goose, Brent, cactus wren, ca California nut catcher, California gull, California quail, California thrasher, California towhee, pipilo chrysalis. Let me go on and on and on. But I want to show you how to do a search. So I'm going to move back towards the top of the screen. Browse. Selected, first name, button, last name, group, button, three Here's of three. our sorting options, so right next to that should be search. I'm going to swipe right. 674 species by first name. Enter any part as a bird name, search field. Double tap to edit. I'm going to double tap on the search field. Search field is editing. Enter any part as a bird name. If you want to type the scientific name of the bird, you can do so. Just preface the scientific name of the bird with an S followed by a space and then the scientific name. So you can search that way should you wish. I am not going to do that. I'm just going to type in the word Robin, because they're one of my favorite birds of all time. R, R, O, O, J, B, B, U, I, I, N, N. Delete. Done. Let's press done. Favorites, tab, three of three. American Robin, Turgis Migratorius. And there's the American Robin. Clear text, button. American Robin, selected, browse. American Robin, Turgis Migratorius. So we have the American Robin. That's the only option that shows up. We're going to double tap on the American Robin. Browse. Back button. Two. One. Stopped. Ten tracks. We have ten tracks of Robin sound. I'm just going to play you one of them. Stopped. One. Song number one, NY. Two. Song number two, UT. Three. Song in Winnie Call, UT. Four. Dawn song, NY. Let's listen to the Dawn song from New York. Double tap. Four. Dawn song, NY. I hear something similar to that from my resident Robins pretty much every morning now, which is awesome, usually every evening too. That's just one of the Robin songs. Before we close this podcast, I want to go into my settings app and show you the bird tunes settings. Open settings. Settings, version 1.1, bird tunes, heading. And here I am in Birdtune settings. Version 1.1.0. 1.1.0 is the version number currently. Autoplay off. There's an autoplay option in here. 
autoplay my autoplay is turned off you can turn autoplay on as a voiceover user i kind of like to have autoplay off i like to control when my playing happens autoplay if you turn this on and you went in to say the american robin it would immediately begin playing the first track of the american robin song that's available i like to control my own playback so i leave playback auto playback turned off but you can turn it on should you wish right in here from your settings app there's a bird tune settings in there mine open automatically and you can just turn that on or off whatever you wish version one bird tunes heading youtube button. so that's the only thing in the bird tunes settings so you go to your settings app and you go into bird tunes and you can adjust it easily from there so again there are three apps within the bird tunes family there's bird tunes light which is free 24 species of birds and lots of calls and songs within those species as you can see most of these have multiple tracks from our demonstration then there's bird tunes basic which is 199 and has 135 species of birds and lots of calls and songs and tracks and then the larger big brother version bird tunes is 999 in the app store and contains 674 species of birds from all across north america and over 10 hours of audio so if this is something that interests you, I really hope you will check it out. And this is one of those things that you can share easily with your sighted family members and friends and colleagues. They will enjoy this just as much as you do if they are a birding enthusiast. There's so much information. It's really a, a plethora and a wealth of information. I said this app was a treasure to me, and it really is. It's something that I really appreciate having as a resource and just for some fun. If I want to say, what was that I heard? I think it may have been blah. Let's go see. No? Okay, let me just wander around and see if I can possibly figure out what it is. It's a really, really fun resource. I'm very grateful to have it. I'm very pleased to have it. And it's something that I'm really, really, really pleased with as far as accessibility goes, too. So, something I definitely recommend checking out if this is something that has interested you. Feel free to check it out. Support the app and this wonderful work. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration. Before I go, I want to remind you that Father's Day is just around the corner. If you haven't bought your gift yet, you're running out of time. And Mystic Access wants to remind you that everything in our store is 10% off through Father's Day. June 21st, which is Sunday. Please use coupon code DAD, in all lowercase, D-A-D, at checkout, and you will save 10% site-wide. If you want to order Dad some assistive tech training on iOS, for instance, or a screen reader, or WordPress, or anything else we have to offer, feel free to check that out. We also have our tutorials. Definitely check out the site. It's pretty much finished now, and we have a lot to offer you. So 10% off through Sunday with the code DAD. And you can check out all we have to offer at mysticaccess.com. M-Y-S-T-I-C-A-C-C-E-S-S dot com. One more quick announcement. Do not forget about the contest we are running. My anniversary as co-host of the Mystic Access podcast is close by. It's coming up very quickly now. And we are asking the question, in what episode of the Mystic Access podcast did my voice first appear? In what episode of the Mystic Access podcast did my voice first appear? If you can answer that question correctly, and you are the first to do so, you will win a $25 Amazon gift card. To answer, contact us by calling us at 716-543-3323, pressing 2 to reach the Mystic Access Podcast comment line, and leaving your answer there. You can also email us at show at mysticaccesspodcast.com and send in your answer that way. Please don't forget, whether you call or email us, make sure you have sent us your correct contact information. If you want your gift card sent to a different email address than the one you're writing us from, for instance, make sure you specify that. <laughs> and if you call us, be sure to give us your email address in your voice message. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Questions, comments are very welcome. Again, links will be in the show notes. And thanks so much for listening. Our contact information follows. Bye, everyone. <laughs>
please tell your friends and colleagues to visit us at www.mysticaccesspodcast.com. If you enjoy what you hear on our podcasts, feel free to leave us an iTunes rating and review. We certainly appreciate those. Also, you may feel free to use our podcasts in your own RSS feed. Just be sure that all of our contact information is left intact. Thanks for spreading the word, and thanks for listening. We hope that you have enjoyed this episode.